Today's at home workout is my 15 minute standing cardio abs and I've picked you some of the best moves. Trust me, your abs are gonna love this. So we're working your waist, your core, your abs and it's like cardio. So it is just great for your overall health as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna incorporate today your warm up and cool down into the workout. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Start working your abs at home today. So let's get started this part one, the warm up. Just follow along. We're gonna start with doing eight of these heel toes. So what I want to do is just increase your core body temperature and just mobilize through all your joints. Let's change, take that to the opposite leg. We're spending just over a minute on this warm up. So again, heel toe. And now let's mobilize the knee joint just by doing these little hamstring kickbacks. Keep that upper body nice and straight. We're just doing sets of eight. Now give me a little knee lift again for a set of eight. This is now working more through your hip joint. We're also working the arms. Now reach that across just for eight. All right, that's good. So this set just about increasing your body temperature. Just give me these nice big arm circles, little bend through the knees, keeping that going. That's good. And today is all about your waist and your abs, your core. So let's just mobilize through your upper body and just through do these trunk rotations and just get that nice flow. And then let's now do some shoulder rolls and now just take those to those big arms for me. All right, just keeping that going. So that is you now warmed up. We're now gonna go into part two. So here you can see the exercise. We're gonna do four of these big stirring moves and then we do these step backs. You can see on the model there, we're working your heart and all those muscles through your core. So let's get ready, come into position. Now imagine you've got a big thing of soup, pot of soup, and you're gonna stir and go two and take it one more. Now, fingertips aside the head and tap that foot back. Again, we're doing sets of four, then bring it back for me. Stir that round, then take it back to the opposite direction. Once more, either way, and back to those side steps. You're taking that foot behind. And it's really important, keep your core fully engaged. So this one here is really good at working all your core muscles. We're really engaging those internal and external obliques step that foot across and we're doing a little bit of light cardio as well. So you can see on the right, that is your timer bar. We're doing each move for approximately 50 seconds and you get a 10 second break when I show you the next move. All right, well done. So that is the first move done. So next one we're gonna do is a double ab crunch. So for this, just make sure you're standing nice and straight and you're just gonna draw the knee up. You do two counts, then we take it to the other side. So let's extend both the arms up and pull the arms down as you do that. So again, with this one, what this is doing primarily is working your main um, muscle through the abdominals known as your rectus abdominis. And it's really important to try and maintain good upper body posture. So it's that long muscle at the front that we're activating here. And plus it's cardio, we're keeping the arms above the head, plus we're using multiple muscle groups. All right, keep going. And also a good tip is really visualize the muscles that you are working right now. Think that you are getting that stronger core. Picture those muscles getting stronger. That's good, keeping that going. Nice control so you can see that timer bar. Keep focused, nearly finished on this one. Draw that knee up, pull those arms down. All right, well done. So let's now have a look at the next move. This is a really fun one. We're gonna do tennis tummy toning abs. Try saying that fast. And so for this one, we'll do about 25 seconds, one side, 20 on the other. So let's just imagine now we've got that tennis racket and let's hit that ball and hit it as hard as you can. So what we're doing here, we're really now engaging all those core muscles plus this one is great for the cardio really going to get the heart rate up and feel the power coming through your core as you take those arms across and this is what i wanted to do in today's workout just 15 minutes and we are going to really be working your core and all these exercises are way more effective than the plank if you think about it plank you're just holding that one position think how many different muscles we're working Plus the benefit here, we're increasing your bone health, your heart health, your joint health as well. And always work through your fullest range of motion. Doing really well. Last little bit on this exercise. So let's just keep going till that timer bar reaches the top. All right, let's have a look at your next move. 
This one's a fun one. We're going to do four power punches, then a little tap, step across, four power punches, and then step across. So come into position and punch really hard and fast, and then take that to a little bend, nice and low. And really put a lot of power in those punches. And if you want to make it a bit harder, you can punch the arms up higher and take it nice and low as you kind of bend down, keep it low and punch. So today we've got lots of new moves. I've saved the best move till the end. Plus you and I are going to do a lovely core down stretch and really stretch through the waist as well. So just stick with me. I'm here with you with these 15 minutes making you healthier, fitter and stronger. So just keep going and power punches. You can see that timer bar. We've nearly finished. Last little bit. Keep going. Step it across and punch that out. All right, that's good. So let's have a look at the next move coming up. So this one we call the ab run to waist twist. So again, you can see the muscles on the model that we're working, plus it's great for your cardio, this one. So we're doing sets of four. So we're gonna come into a split stance and arms up. Now just drive that knee up for four, then hold it here and twist for four. And always keep your hips pointing forwards. So we'll go for four. And also within this workout, these moves that I've created are really going to work on what we refer to as your motor skills. So it's that real kind of concentration, your agility. This is where these are so practical for day to day life and really keep your core fully engaged for me as you draw that knee up. So really think tummy is tight as you pull that in. And this is why I didn't want to have seconds counting down. I just want you to focus on the move, on what you're doing. You've got an indicator there with your timer bar, how long you've got left on each move. All right, that's good. Doing really well. Drive that knee up and give me that twist. All right, so let's have a little look at your next move coming up. So for this one, we call this a waist sculptor. So this one is a great cardio. And as you can see on the model, we're working all over your abs and your waist. So with this, take your arms up and just imagine you're pulling down something really heavy. So really put some power and really also tighten those abdominals as you pull both arms down. And this is a really lovely one. You can travel around the room while you're doing it. And remember also, as I always say, if you don't want to hear me talking, simply just mute me, put on your favorite music. All right, that's good. Just keeping that going draw down those arms we're halfway through on this one and again what we're doing is within this workout we are using all three different planes of motion your body moves forwards and backwards it moves laterally sideways and also rotationally and I'm engaging all three of those that's why you're going to get amazing results with this workout so let's just keep going till we reach the top on there okay that's good so we are well over halfway through this workout. So next one, we're gonna do a standing ab crunch and a twist. So standing with good posture, we're gonna just kick the leg up, we're gonna do sets of four. So let's just take fingertips behind the back of the head and kick one, let's go two, three, and four. Now extend arms up, elbows in line with shoulders, and just give me four of these twists. Keep your back straight, and again, bring it straight back to that kick for me. And it's important when you do those twists, keep your hips still, don't move your, your hips that way again, then we're really engaging those waist muscles, those internal and external obliques. And also aim to keep your elbows at shoulder height for me, doing really well. Keeping that going, all right, that's good. And the benefit of having a stronger core is endless. It helps support the rest of your body. This is why it's so important, we work your abs. Okay, and let's go last one on there. So next move coming up. So this one is less cardio, so we haven't got heart beating, but you can see the muscles here that we're working. This is a double to single waist toner. So come in a wider stance for me. And now, knees slightly bent, just reach from one side to the other. We're gonna go for two to start with. Now do the same, but just one, and now straight over to the other side. Now take it two, two on the other side and bring it back to one. So you're doing sets of two to then sets of one. So it's gonna get you thinking, we're working your motor skills as well. And also with this, make sure you don't lean forwards, neither lean backwards. So just imagine you've got um, a door in front of you and right behind you. So it's really that lateral move, just going from one side to the other 
and also really focus on making that range of motion as full as you can. That is Princess Sultana, by the way, as well. And just reach, and we're nearly finished on this one. Keeping that going, that's good, from one side to the other. And we are done on that move. So next one coming over, we're gonna do double punches to then these knee drives where you're taking your knee over towards opposite hip. So double punches, so let's get ready for this one. Great cardio, one, two, take it three and four. Arms up and knee across. So you're bringing that knee across, then take it back to those double punches for me. And aim to keep those arms at shoulder height. Knee comes up. So you see how the knee's not coming directly in front. We're taking a little bit over to the side. Benefit of that, again, that means that I'm really working these core muscles. I'm challenging them. I'm also really challenging your oblique, those waist muscles. And drawing that up and over. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. Punch those arms across for four sets of four. And as I said, always keep those hips facing forwards. That's how we really isolate and target those muscles. And last little bit, draw that knee across and over. And let's finish with those few punches. All right, so next move, arms are up. This time again, we're doing four sets of four. And then we're gonna do a side bend for four. So let's get ready, extend both arms up for me and kick and three, take it two and one. Now reach it over to one side, straight up, then over to the other. And then one more, arms extended up. So just keep maintaining that, lift your arms directly up. So remember, as your qualified trainer, I'm wanting to create you workouts that you can do that are safe and effective. Within this workout, we're using body weight. Body weight is one of the best ways to really look after your fitness and your health. And each of these, make sure you're reaching as far as you can to each side and keeping that going. That's good. So stick with me, we've nearly finished today and you're gonna get amazing results. So the key thing is consistency. It's about making this part of your life and having fun while you're doing it. All right, that's good. So let's have a look at the next move. So this is the ultimate. This is the one we've been waiting for. So for this, we're gonna do four of these knee drives and you're gonna hold it there and then you're gonna twist towards that knee, but you can see we're slightly extended forwards from the hip. So let's get ready first of all, and we're doing this slowly. Arms up, tummy is tight. Now drive that knee up, three, go two, and one. Now hold it here, bend your arms. Now twist towards that knee that is bent, that's in front, two, and one. Extend your arms in front, take the opposite leg back now, four, go three, two, and one. And now bend, and then twist in towards that opposite knee, and now extend those arms up, leg is back. So this is all about control. You can do it slowly and really feel that working through those abdominals. Twist in, that's good. And we've got that slight hinge forwards from the hips and we're fully pulling in those tummy muscles. That's where we're gonna really work that deepest abdominal muscle, the transverse abdominus. Four, let's go three, two, and one. All right, well done. So what we're going to do now is we're simply going to go into your core dance. So just follow along with me and we're going to now stretch these muscles, but we're also going to do a really lovely waist stretch at the end. So let's start by just doing these gentle little toe taps. And this is simply now more about just realigning your body. So come into this stance, have your toes lifted, feel the stretch through the back of your upper thigh. And this just now stretching the hamstring. And if you want to, you can always hold these stretches for a little bit longer, just press pause and take that to the opposite leg. Toes are pointing up, feel that stretch. Hands are always on your bent leg. All right, now coming up to standing up, what we're gonna do is step one foot behind, and then you're gonna lean forwards from your hips slightly, then take your arms in front, just for a few seconds, just get a lovely stretcher through the top of the upper back and also through your calf muscle. And now we're going to take that to the opposite leg, step it behind, this time open up and lift through your chest. So today's workout was just a really good way to work your abs, just follow along, do this quadriceps stretch. And these standing exercises are way more effective than doing the plank or 
ab workouts on the floor. And let's just come to the other leg. And the reason being is we're working more core stability. We're also getting your heart rate up at the same time. Let's just stretch your waist now, one foot across, holding the hands, lean over to the opposite side and just feel that lovely stretch through your waist. And now let's just take that over to the opposite leg. Just get your balance and just hold. And do let me know in the comments down below if you've enjoyed it, I can definitely do you lots more of these standing abs and well done. You did it, so well done. There is your high five and I will see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.